Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. In today's video, we'll see a program based on diagonal matrix. So first of all, let us understand what is a diagonal matrix. So a diagonal matrix is a square matrix where all the elements except the main diagonal, the principal diagonal are zero. Okay, so we are going to make a program based on this. So we'll create a class here. And after the creation of class, we'll double click on the class and the code window gets opened. We'll write the first statement, import Java util scanner to take input from user. Let's create the class. The scope of the class begins, main function. Now I'll create the object of scanner class. Then here we'll declare a variable INTS. This is for the size of the square matrix. Now we'll give a message that enter the size of the square matrix. So user will enter the size and accordingly we will declare a double dimension array. Now after taking input from user, the size of the matrix will declare an array here with the name A and with the size S into S. Number of columns and number of rows will be equal here. Now we'll give a message to the user to enter the elements of the matrix. And to get the element of the matrix from the user, we need to have nested loop, nested for loop. The outer loop is responsible for number of rows and inner loop will be responsible for number of columns. So here the outer loop goes up to one lesser than the length and here the inner loop, it also goes one lesser than the length only. So here we write a zero dot length means the length of the row. Okay, <clears throat> after that in the inner loop, we'll have a statement of input that is aij is equal to object of this kind of class and the next int. Now we'll close uh, the inner loop, the outer loop. Both loops will be closed. Now input work is done. Now what I'll do here that I'll just copy the statement what I want that after taking input, we will display the original matrix. So I'll just write a mat message here. Original matrix is now I'll just copy the code of uh, loop and I'll just paste here. After pasting it, uh, what I'll what I'm going to do is that will display the element of the matrix. So here I will write system dot out dot print aig and I'll provide a space here. After providing a space, we'll put a semicolon and in the outer loop. To bring it to the new line, to change the line, we'll just have a simple statement system.out.println blank so that the line will be changed. So this is the code for displaying the matrix given by the user. Now, what we have to do is here I will be taking two counter variables um, and both C and D will be initialized with zero. Okay, so what I'll uh, do here, I'll just copy the same loop which we have done there and inside that inner loop, we'll put some condition. See, first we are doing the uh, writing the condition for principal diagonal. Principal diagonal is that when the number of index of the row and column both are same. So that is i equal to j and if i j means the element of the principal diagonal is zero, then the value of c will increase. Similarly, we'll look for the elements accept the principal diagonal that is i is not equal to j and for that we are looking if the value is equal not equal to zero <coughs> okay if any value of the element which is accept the principal diagonal is not equal to zero zero then d will increase so in this way i will complete the loop and see if the value of C and D remains zero, it means that all the principal uh, diagonal elements are non-zero and other rest elements are zero. If this is true, then it's a diagonal matrix, else it's not a diagonal matrix. We'll close the main end class, we'll right click and we will execute it. Here I've given the size four and now I'm entering the values and the <coughs> elements and then what we will do, the original matrix will be displayed here. So, and here it is showing it's a diagonal matrix. Now what we will do, we'll just clear the terminal window content and then we will re-execute the program with a different value. So now I'll just enter the size three. Now I'm entering the values of the matrix. And uh, so we'll see 
is it a diagonal matrix or not it's not because one of the non principal diagonal element is not zero so that's why it is not a diagonal matrix